We first brought to this story in May. The Houston Humane Society says it's their first emergency animal rescue that involves one of our surrounding counties. 138 cattle were rescued from Goliad County by the Houston Humane Society. And tonight we're learning that the county judge attempted to intervene. We have 25 News Now reporter Carolina Astrain who has an update for us. Carolina. Yes, Ozzy, the cattle were seized after it was observed that they were in poor condition by Goliad County constables. The owner of the cattle, one of the three owners actually, recently passed away, and the cattle were seized before his will could be probated. A hearing is scheduled tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. to discuss the permanent disposition of the livestock. The fate of 138 head of cattle will be discussed at a hearing at the Goliad County Commissioner's Courtroom Thursday morning. Randy Farmer, a chief investigator with the Houston Humane Society, says while seizing the underfed cattle, the Goliad County judge, Mike Bennett, showed up with a group of local landowners. On the second day, the county judge, uh, Mike Bennett, showed up on property uh, claiming that he was going to take reverse the uh, seizure warrant. These animals are, are used as collateral for a, a lien that the bank owns and the banker claimed that they were her animals as well. He's added talking to area ranchers and trying to intimidate the JP judge into reversing this seizure warrant. The average body condition score for the animals was at 2.2 on a scale where 5 is ideal and 9 is obese. Acreage per cattle ratio was also not adequate. Ideally, there are 15 to 17 acres for each cow. Farmer says he's concerned about the county judge's motives for attempting to reverse the warrant. The Houston Humane Society chief investigator says the society is not in Goliad to seize all livestock. They just want to make sure farmers and ranchers are not neglecting their responsibility for their animals. As long as cattle ranchers are feeding their animals and providing proper care, they have nothing to worry about, says Farmer. We spoke to a ranch owner in the area who says the owner who died, Daryl Frankie, is known as a hay supplier in the area, so the poor condition of these cattle is unexcusable despite the recent winter storms. Carolina Astran, KVU-TV, 25 News Now.